So the first thing that what you want to do is you want to go to the fill. So the paint bucket right here, and then you want to identify the area that you want to do an area takeoff for. So in this case, I'm going to do an area takeoff for this grading right here. So this kind of gray shaded area. Once I have my paint bucket selected, I'm going to go to the settings here. So this option right here, and then I'm going to make sure my edge sensitivity is set to low. And then also the fill size, probably I'll drop it down a little bit. And then the fill speed, I'm going to drop it down to 10. So this all has to deal with the sensitivity of the boundary of the boundary. So the edge of the markup, the fill speed. So how fast the, the paint bucket is painting and then the boundary size. I'm going to get to that here in a second. I'll show you what that means. And another thing that you want to do is you want to go up top to view and then you want to say disable line weights. So what this does, it kind of helps with the paint bucket, not going over the edge of your markup. So now I'm going to select my paint bucket and then I'm going to start kind of painting through here. All right. And then once we get to this kind of area right here, you can see that there is no boundary boundary kind of closing this off. So one thing that you can do is you can go up here and say boundary size, kind of take it all the way down, probably almost to 25. Then I'm going to select this guy. So click out of it. Then I'm going to say add boundary. And then I'm going to click here on this edge and then hold shift. So it'll be straight and then kind of double click here on this other side. Now I'm going to select my paint bucket again. And then now I'm kind of going through here is essentially acting as a boundary. So the paint bucket won't go through it. All right. So now that we have our takeoff kind of uh, done, then we are going to hit apply. Then it's going to ask us to select the scale. The scale for this is three sixteenths to a foot. Click apply. And then now the markup is created. 